So today we're going for a walk along the River Ching, one of the uh, many tributaries of the sacred River Lee. The rise is up here in Epping Forest at Chingford and it takes us to the uh, Walthamstow Edgelands. It's a really wonderful walk. You can start this walk just up at the, uh, the visitor centre there near Queen Elizabeth's Hunting Lodge and then you follow the footpath heading for Connell Water. And this is the third of a series of walks that I've produced for Waltham Forest, London Borough of Culture 2019. And it's the longest of those walks. When you get to this crossroads at the gravel path here, you just follow the signpost to Connell Water, which is where the Ching rises. So the Ching rises here at Connell Water named after the Duke of Connaught, the seventh son of Queen Victoria and the first ranger of Epping Forest. And this is where the Ching starts its journey towards the River Lee. See the grate here and crossing over the footpath. The Ching starts its way through the forest edgelands. feel it's a, a special moment when you arrive at the source of a river. And we're guided once again by this beautiful little map by uh, Russell Frost at Hooksmith Press, produced especially for the Borough of Culture. Really wonderful little artefacts that you can buy from Russell. Look up Hooksmith Press. And I never venture into Epping Forest without a copy of Epping Forest by Edward North Buxton, who lived at Lanestone House for a while and then at Buckhurst Hill and Knighton House, and is responsible largely for the preservation of Epping Forest, the passing of the Epping Forest Act in 1878. He was the first verderer of Epping Forest. This is a magical book, highly recommended if you can find a copy. So we go back along this path, back to the, uh, the crossroads in the footpath with the signpost there, and we're going to turn left and head towards the road. It's reasonable to assume that uh, Chingford takes its name from the river, the Ching, but actually it's the other way around. The Ching takes its name from Chingford. Chingford most likely derived from uh, King's Ford, King. And Ching. Ching is an old word for king and it actually would refer to a ford over the river Lee and not the Ching. There's a few other theories about the origins of the name of Chingford but that's considered the standard most likely one. You can see here how we're right on the border of London between the borough of Waltham Forest and the county of Essex. The green sign over there on the right is the Waltham Forest borough sign and just over here on the left we have uh, welcome to Essex. So the river is running just through there along that muddy path. You can't actually follow the river at this stage. We have to wait until it crosses over the path further along. And here we have the Ching once more. It just started to rain. We follow this path here, which skirts the very edge of the forest. It really is such a picturesque little brook. So the Ching is meandering through that uh, spindly woodland just here. It really is a very meandering river. You can uh, go through this undergrowth and cross over, but you don't actually get very far. So we'll uh, stick to the footpath here and we will uh, pick up the river very shortly. So we follow the footpath across Whitehall Plain here. The Ching is uh, working its way through the tree line just on the right there. Ahead we can see the road 
and another border, our second border of the day, this time between Redbridge and Waltham Forest. Just uh, sheltering beneath this lovely big oak tree here. So we have momentarily stepped right on the borough border here, London Borough Redbridge here, and then over there is the London Borough of Waltham Forest, marked by this uh, stone bridge here. It's a wonderful bridge across the River Ching. And we're going to pass just to the right of that bridge on the Waltham Forest side. Just over there you can see the footpath. There's an amazing crop of mushrooms here, right by the roadside next to the bridge. And here the Ching emerges from under the road. You can already see how much water it's gained on its journey this far. You can see here we're walking right on the very edge of the borough of Waltham Forest, the London borough of Waltham Forest I should say, with the river here behind me. And there's something about walking along borderlands, along the edges. I was very keen for my walks to take people to the edge of the borough. I think we learn a lot more about places from the fringes looking back into the interior. And you see what's pushed out to the edges tells you a lot about what's going on inside, I think. We can follow the course of the Ching quite closely here, along its banks. This is one of my favourite sections of the Ching. This is where the meanders of the Ching create a lovely little pool here in the bend. In better weather you'll see the dogs playing in there. They love it. Beautiful little river. It really is a very windy, meandering river. Interestingly, the meander is the name of a river in Turkey, which is particularly slow bendy and windy. As regular viewers of my uh, YouTube channel will know, I'm a real lover of river walks. There's something about being guided through the landscape by a watercourse. You can see here where this fallen tree and these uh, logs here have partially dammed the river. I'm not sure if that's uh, deliberate or not part of the forest conservation, but apparently this kind of uh, damming of the river is very good for the ecosystem that the river creates, slowing down the, the flow of the water, sort of benefits, benefits plant life and the wildlife that inhabit the river. Obviously once upon a time this would have been done by beavers but uh, they've been extinct in Britain for quite some time. Beautiful big bend in the river here, look it goes all the way around there. Here we have some uh, evidence of pollarding when the trees were lopped by the commoners of Epping Forest. Ellie Wilson, artist in residence in Epping Forest at the moment, 
joined us on the, uh, the two guided walks that I did along the River Ching. And she told us her fascinating stories of her, of her family history and their associations with the lopping rights that once existed for the uh, commoners of Epping Forest. Ellie's been um, producing some really magical music as part of her residency. She produced a graphic score based on the surveys of Loughton Camp and Amesbury Banks. Which is a really beautiful artefact in its own right, just the score. And then she, obviously she's um, turned that into music, which she recorded at Queen Elizabeth's Hunting Lodge. Um, really, really wonderful stuff. And Ellie brought along some of that music and people listened to it as we walked um, through the forest here. It was a really, really special experience. Enclosure came and trampled on the grave Of labour's rights and left the poor a slave Each little tyrant with his little sign Shows where man claims a glows no more divine and you can see um, Ellie's installation at the Hunting Lodge. And I'll put the dates here, I can't remember, but it's running certainly into January anyway, 2020. Once the forest became the People's Forest, 1878, the commoners lost their lopping rights. Lopping Hall in Loughton was uh, given in compensation. This is a classic Edgelands feature here, where our sort of bucolic scene is interrupted by this sewage pipe crossing, uh, crossing the river. I assume it's a sewage pipe and a concrete bridge. And that bridge crosses the border between Wolfham Forest and Redbridge. And there's a slight whiff of sewage in the air as well. And you have these kind of very uh, elaborately painted concrete gateposts here on the road. And this actually, this road here is called Newgate Street and it leads to a house up there. A very almost kind of like Hansel and Gretel type place. It's actually just a private residence. So the rain has stopped. The sun's come out and we can continue our walk along the River Ching. And the Ching continues to meander behind this green metal fence there. And it'll work its way behind these houses here and then down to the roundabout which is where we'll pick it up. A reminder here that there are a number of grand manors in the forest and this was the site of one of them. And I think it was here, Friday Hill, that Henry VIII knighted a slab of beef, a beef loin, and it became sirloin beef, and that's the origins of the sirloin steak, so I'm told. So just here at the roundabout is where we can uh, reacquaint ourselves with the waters of the Ching. It will make its way under that roundabout there and come out on the far side of those houses. So we're just going to go over that zebra crossing and then we'll work our way over there towards uh, the petrol station. And here we go down Water Hall Avenue which I assume is named after one of the, uh, the grand halls of the forest. So the Ching is running just behind this wall here where you see the old Water Hall Avenue, E4 side. If we pop our head over the wall. And it runs beneath the road here, the avenue, and we'll pick it up on the far side. You can see the shape of the land here as it rises on the far side of the river valley. The Ching is just here to the left behind this brick wall. So we turn left off the avenue down this footpath and back uh, to the course of the river which will take us into Hyams Park. 
just be aware that if you do this walk in winter or after heavy rainfall, it will be incredibly muddy. Muddier than you can imagine. Again, we've got some really big wide bends in the river. There's a big meander there. And the river continues on along this way. This really is one of my favourite stretches of the Ching. You can walk on either side of the river here. Equally delightful, whichever path you choose. Interesting, isn't it, how each little section of the river has a slightly different character. Here we have a slightly different vegetation along the riverbank than we had just a couple hundred metres away. And the flow of the river alters as it makes its way along its course. we can cross over this delightful little wooden bridge into Hyams Park. And we pick up the path that separates the Ching from Hyams Park Lake. Hyams Park was landscaped by the famous gardener Humphrey Repton, sometimes said to be the last of the great English gardeners. Part of the grounds of, of Hyams Park House, which is now Woodford County School for Girls at the top of the hill there. The lake here was initially formed by damming the Ching, and then the dam was removed and the Ching was able to flow on its merry way. So we wrench ourselves away from Hyams Park Lake. You can see here where the Ching carries on across this road, stone bridge on the far side. So it makes its way behind these houses here. So we have to go up the hill a little bit and turn to the left along Gordon Avenue. One of the many great things about the London Borough Waltham Forest is this kind of geographical diversity. It goes from basically the inner city at Leighton, just across the River Lee from Hackney and the massive development at Stratford around the Olympic Park to here, kind of very kind of quiet suburbia right on the very edge of London. So at the end of Gordon Avenue, we're just gonna turn the corner here to the left and take this alleyway back down to the Ching. There's a little metal bridge here over the river. And Ellie was telling us how as a school child in Chingford she used to play poo sticks here after school. And you can see now the Ching has left the forest and is making its way through suburbia. So we double back on ourselves slightly here and we come back up the hill and just turn to the left here along this alleyway. So the path brings us out into this housing estate here. 
The river is running behind those trees over to the left there, but it's not really accessible. So we just walk along this street. This brings us out onto Hale End Road. And Hale End is a classic railway suburb, part of the boom of the last half of the 19th century and the early 20th century. Hyams Park Station is just up there with its level crossing. And we can see the river once again here before it disappears behind the houses. So we turn into Studley Avenue with the river gurgling away behind the houses here. So we turn left out of Studley Avenue and we head down back into the river valley to find the river. And here we have River Walk E4 which follows the river and goes beneath the railway bridge. I first got the idea to walk along the River Ching all the way when I passed the end of this street here, this little alleyway, River Walk. And I thought, wow, there is a mapped path all the way along the River Ching. There isn't really. I mean, the walk that we're doing now, this is the Ching Walk as far as I know. This path here is the only real official kind of River Ching Walk, if you like. There's a lovely bit of public art here at the end of River Walk. Love Wildlife, painted by Mutiny, 2016. And there's also this owl sculpture lurking in the undergrowth on the banks of the Ching. So we cross Winchester Road and carry on along Howden Road. So there's this little driveway here that comes off Howden Road. And down there we can get a little glimpse of the Ching. It's got more of the kind of classic signifiers of a suburban river, an Edgelands walk, the fly tipping over there, the general trash and rubbish. This is where the kids come and smoke after school. And here's the river still meandering on its merry way towards the River Lee. We follow Howden Road round into Cavendish Road. At the end of Cavendish Road, we pick up Cavendish Path, where we will find the river. So we're passing now from Chingford into Walthamstow. And we're coming up to the Walthamstow Stadium. So there's this bridge into the stadium development which appears to go over a stream bed, but there's no water there. I think it's unlikely they would have built right on top of the stream. The question is, where did it go? I think the most likely answer is beneath this grass here. It's just to the left of the outside of the block of flats they've built over the stadium. So this is Walthamstow Stadium, once one of London's most famous greyhound stadiums. I think these were the kennels here, where the dogs waited to race. Walthamstow Stadium opened in 1928 and closed in 2008. There were once 33 Greyhound stadiums or Greyhound tracks in London. Now there are only two. But Walthamstow was probably was one of the most famous. Apparently it's said that the expression going to the dogs or he's gone to the dogs comes from this stadium coming to this actual dog track. 
is a very sort of celebrated place, a real iconic location. It's great that this Art Deco facade has been preserved though, with the famous neon sign. Just to the uh, just to the right of the stadium development, you can catch a little glimpse of the Ching. So it's clearly made its way around the edge of Walthamstow Stadium. You can follow the line of the river here as it crosses the road and makes its way through those trees just to the right of the frame there near the pylon. Got to somehow get across the road here to pick up the river on the far side. Here's the Ching running wild and free. It can sense the River Lee, the sacred River Lee and its confluence up ahead. And now we follow this path that runs beside the banks of the River Ching. The great sentinels of the Lee Valley, these amazing pylons. I know I keep banging on about edgelands, but this is peak edgelands here at the end of the River Ching. We've got the pylons, the arterial roads, the mega stores, shipping containers back there, fly tipping. All we're missing now is a shopping trolley. I think I can spot a shopping trolley up there on the banks of the river. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. Shopping trolleys are kind of like contemporary votive offerings to the river gods. Actually, this one here, the way it's gathered the leaves, it's almost uh, performing a sort of ecological function of providing a sort of dam in its own peculiar, perverted way. And this will be our last glimpse of the Qing today. So this is where our guided walk along the River Ching must end today. The river works its way through the undergrowth here behind me and then goes underneath the North Circular Road and it emerges near a sort of petrol station in another classic Edgelands environment and then makes its confluence with the River Lee. If you're particularly intrepid, you can make that torturous schlep over there through the undergrowth around the North Circular to catch a brief glimpse of it make, before it makes its confluence. You can't see the confluence, I don't think. But well, Morrison's car park does feel like the perfect end for this river walk. Thank you so much for joining me on this walk along the River Ching, the third of my walks for Waltham Forest London Borough of Culture 2019. Why not watch some of the other ones I've done along the, the Filler Brook, over the marshlands, along the Dagenham Brook and over Pole Hill. I'm going to go back up to the stadium now and uh, catch a bus in the direction of Walthamstow. See you on the next walk.